Hi, this is Sharf from Bricks, and in this video I'm giving you a first look at our new experimental feature, Bricks Components as Blocks. This is still an experimental feature, so we'd really appreciate your feedback and testing this feature. If there's anything missing, please let us know. Uh, if there are any use cases that you'd like us to cover with the Bricks and the Block Editor integration in general, not just for components, we'd love to hear your feedback. So the very first step would be to enable this feature. By default, it's going to be disabled, but you can enable it under Brick Settings, General Block Editor, and then head over to Bricks Components in the Block Editor. Uh, by default, it's going to be disabled, but you can uh, either choose Enable Individual Components Manually, which would mean that you would have to enable each component manually in the builder, or you could select enable all components automatically and then all your bricks components on that installation will be available in the block editor. Let's go with enable individual components manually for this one and then head over to the builder. And so in the builder I have this event card component which let me just give you a quick tour of what we were working with here. So I have these different properties, a text property, uh, a rich text property, an image property, this is a link property, a toggle and then a global classes property where I defined two labels, primary and secondary, and chose the relevant uh, classes to control the background color of this uh, component. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the focus here is just to show you how you can use these components in the block editor, but I just uh, thought I'd show you what we're working with here. And so to make this component available in the block editor, we'll head over to this new use in block editor action. So let's click here and there you go. By default, it's going to be disabled. Let's click on enabled here and then save the builder. There you go. And now let's head over to the block editor. Okay, we're in the block editor now. Let's try and add our component right here. So click on add block and then scroll all the way down or search for our component. And there you go, I have event card, let's click on that and there you go it's already been rendered in the block editor uh, let me just save and view this in the front end as well and so here we have our blog post which was written in the block editor and our single template which was built in bricks uh, where we have access to all the different uh, design tools global classes global variables uh, components I mean the list goes on but now we also have uh, the option to build these custom blocks that uh, we can add to our blog post. So uh, in this case, this is an event card. You could think of other use cases, uh, maybe a newsletter form. Uh, it could be a testimonial block. I mean, yeah, the, the possibilities are endless here. I would also like to mention that in the builder within the components panel, you're able to filter to only see the components that are set to be used in the block editor with this action right here. So I would click this icon and now I only see the components that are set to be used in the block editor. And I'm also able to enable using the block editor right here. So as you can see, this is already toggled for my event card component. Let's maybe enable it for this one. I'll click sure. And now the contact, the contact form is also going to be uh, available in the block editor. Okay, moving back to the block editor, let me show you how we can set custom values for this component instances properties. Uh, as you can see under block settings, we have all the different uh, properties that we've set in the builder. And so let's set a custom event title, which is a text property connected to this text right here. And so I could have a custom title, for example. Uh, I could override the description, I could provide uh, a different image right here. I could maybe hide the image using that toggle. There you go. Um, I could set a link for this button. I could set a different uh, background color. Uh, there you go. And so let's hit save and view this in the front end. There you go. We have our component with our own um, properties values. And so let's say you've built this Bricks component, uh, you've made it available in the block editor. It's now being used in different blog posts. So I have it right here with different um, properties values. And then if I head over 
to another post where I also am using the same component, uh, but they just have different um, values for their properties, right? So here the image is not hidden. In fact, it has a different image. It has a different title, a different uh, description. Uh, but now let's say I wanted to make this title a different color. Maybe I, or I, I want to make it uh, bigger or a different font. All I have to do now is to go back to Bricks and edit that main component and simply make that change. And then it will uh, carry over to all instances of that component across the entire site. So let's go back to the builder now. So let's make a simple change just to show how powerful this is. Let's edit the component. Let's edit the title. And let's set the size to 55. I mean, it doesn't really make sense. Let's actually go with 32. There you go. Uh, let's make it all uppercase, for example. Let's set a different font weight, 900 maybe. And then let's save. And now let's view our blog post again. Okay, back to our blog post. Let's refresh the page. There you go. Uh, the title has a different styling now. Let's go to the second blog post and let's refresh the page here as well. And as you can see, the same changes apply to all component instances. So that's how powerful uh, components are. And now you get that same power in the block editor. So that was Bricks Components as Blocks. Uh, it's a simple way to bring your Bricks built components into the block editor. Uh, really excited to see how you use it. So please share your feedback either through the forum or over email. Uh, and if there is something missing, whether it's around components specifically or other ways Bricks could integrate better with the block editor, um, yeah, please feel free to let us know.